Hi everyone and welcome to the weekend edition of Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com. In this video, we will recap last week's market action and discuss our trading plan for this week. But first, if you want our free reports, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com with your email. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile. Mobile is the fastest way to get our alerts and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada numbers, it would be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And in the welcome email, you will get a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging services are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. No Discord rooms, no Telegram chat rooms whatsoever. First up, congrats to all subscribers who banked in BZFD last week. I covered it in, uh, in my Thursday night video. The stock closed up 85% on Friday and up 309% for the week. It was the biggest runner in the penny stock arena for the week. In terms of the overall market, the S&P 500 on Friday advanced 2.47% for the week. Uh, this advance it added to the benchmark overall positive start to the new year. The S&P 500 has now posted gain in three of this year's first four weeks. Investors uh, squared up their positions and bought into equities ahead of the Fed meeting on Wednesday. The central bank is widely expected to downshift to a 25 basis point rate hike, and the general consensus is that the Fed's aggressive interest rate hikes are now off the table. The week also saw fourth quarter earnings season kick into high gear. Results from many major companies rolled in and have mostly been a mixed bag. The technology sector saw reports from Microsoft, IBM, and Intel with all three disappointing investors. On the other hand, EV maker Tesla's numbers and guidance were cheered. There was also a host of economic data during the week. Core personal consumption expenditures inflation moderated in December, which provided a boost to sentiment. However, manufacturing data continued to point to signs of slowdown in the economy with the January S&P Global Composite PMI showing a contraction in business activity for a seventh straight month and the January Richmond Fed Manufacturing Survey coming in worse than expected. Meanwhile, the initial estimate for U.S. Q4 GDP growth came in stronger than anticipated, but showed a deceleration from Q3. Moreover, the number of Americans filing for weekly jobless claims hit a nine-month low, continuing to point to resilience in the labor market. Earnings this week include on Tuesday, we get uh, ExxonMobil, GM, UPS, Pfizer, Caterpillar, McDonald's, AMD, uh, Electronic Arts, and UBS. On Wednesday, we get earnings from Altria, um, and particularly uh, the one we will be watching here at InsiderFinancial.com, Meta Platforms. We also get uh, monthly delivery reports from Chinese EV makers Neo, Li Auto, and Xpeng. Uh, at 2, 2 p.m., the FOMC will issue its statement following the two-day meeting, and at 2.30 p.m., Federal Reserve Chairman Jay Powell will hold his press conference. On Thursday, notable companies due to report in, include ConocoPhillips, Merck, Eli Lilly, Amazon, Apple, Alphabet, Starbucks, Ford, and Qualcomm. In terms of penny stocks this week, uh, on Friday, big action in uh, Lucid Motors, LCID. There is speculation that the, the Saudis are going to make a buyout play. The stock closed up 43%, but look at these option plays. Uh, the January ten uh, dollar calls were up fourteen thousand eight hundred percent. The ten fifty calls were up twenty two thousand seven hundred percent. Guys, you know if you're not trading options, you're just leaving a ton of money on the table. I asked, do you guys want options play? I get like five people leaving a comment. I'm not gonna cover options plays for just five people. If you want options plays, please click that link. I mean, uh, leave a comment below and I will cover more options plays with uh, specific uh, uh, targets and uh, what I am actually playing. 
Uh, in terms of other plays, we got uh, FRGT. I was up 24% on Friday. Uh, this one has just a $3.3 million market cap. This one is on watch for this week, FRGT. Also on watch is POL. It is in play. We got news uh, that the board of directors responded to a 13D filing from Morgan Dempsey. Uh, looking here, uh, the board and management team welcome the constructive import of our input of our investors. We have consistently engaged with Morgan Dempsey and confident that we both share a common goal, maximizing value for all the company's shareholders. Following the receipt of multiple private expressions of interest in acquiring all or part of the company, Polished engaged Jeffries as our financial advisor to help us evaluate credible potential transactions. The board and management team remain open to all pathways for maximizing value, including a sale of the company. Concurrently, Polished is encouraged by the early signs of progress by our new management team and remains focused on driving sustainable long-term sales and earnings growth. And if you look here, this one just looks extremely cheap, extremely cheap, trading at just four times earnings, 3.4 times this year's earnings, uh, 0.11 times sales, 0.42 times book, uh, 2.18 times cash, uh, stock closed at 83 cents, we got 38 cents uh, uh, cash on the balance sheet. Again, this one it looks extremely cheap with just a $56 million market cap. P-O-L, P-O-L is one to have on your radar screen. Next up is PEV, uh, just a 2.2 uh, million share float. Uh, this is an electric vehicle play, uh, starting to get some action here. This one looks interesting. Uh, closed at $1.45, but we're, we're not seeing any real resistance until two fifty. So there's still upside in PEV. Uh, next up is VVPR, uh, another one looking interesting. Uh, this one looks like it wants $1. Volume has been creeping up here. We got the big uh, volume day on Friday. I think this one's got more in, uh, more gas in the tank, can run to a dollar again. This is just my opinion. None of this is financial advice. Consult your nearest financial advisor if you have any more questions. Uh, on watch for this week is MULN. Look at this breaking out of this wedge here. Uh, this one here, all it needs is a, uh, another PR drop uh, to really get this one going. The shorts, uh, there's a, just under 12% of the float is short. I think it's it's higher than that right now. Um, there's a lot of people betting against uh, Mullen, and this is a favorite of the retail crowd, but they just can't keep this one down. So again, this one looks like it's getting ready to spike again. MULN, uh, watch it. For Catalyst, though, it needs a PR drop. It's just not going to run on its own. It needs that right cat, right Catalyst. I've been talking about these Catalyst plays, and that's what we do here at InsiderFinancial.com. We cover nothing but Catalyst plays, the latest with news. So if you want our free reports on Catalyst plays, just click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on InsiderFinancial.com. Uh, next up on the NASDAQ, we got FFIE. Um, this one looks like a short squeeze, a major, major short squeeze is building. Uh, just over 29% of the float is short. No resist, no real resistance until $2. We closed at $87.66. Again, this is another one just needs that PR and uh, this one's really going to squeeze the shorts. So uh, keep FFIE on your radar screen. Lastly is uh, two OTC plays, uh, GTII. Uh, this one looks like the the short, uh, the Naked Short War group uh, led by Ham Short Killer. Short Killer, they look like uh, they're getting ready to squeeze GTII again. Uh, again, guys, these are not long-term holds. Play the pump, get out before the dump. It looks like it's getting ready to be pumped again. Uh, January 13th, there was a reported 428,000 shares short. Uh, a lot of the shorts had uh, covered back in this rally. Uh, I think they're getting, they've been coming back in, shorting this. So I think uh, GTII uh, is getting ready to squeeze again. Lastly is a bankruptcy play, uh, C-O-R-Z-Q. Uh, guys, whenever a Q starts trading on the OTC, uh, this one, there's just... A lot of traders on the OTC that only play Q stocks. Uh, this has been a big runner this month. 
uh, on January four on January third, it hit the OTC at four cents. Uh, closed on Friday at twenty four cents. Five hundred percent in less than a month. Again, these Q stocks, uh, these uh, former uh, Nasdaq NYSE runners that hit the uh, the OTC. Uh, they can really, really be runners because you get a lot of institutions can't own OTC stocks. So you get a lot of these uh, smart money that are able to come in, can accumulate it, and then uh, run it uh, on very little uh, market action. So again, C-O-R-Z-Q. Uh, we'll be watching for more uh, Q stocks to hit the uh, OTC. Um, we're monitoring the markets every day, so you guys don't have to. Again, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. Sign up to get all of our reports. Again, it is a completely free service. Unsubscribe anytime. Finally, guys, Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by seller hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Thanks for watching. Also, smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Good, uh, good luck, guys, this week. Let's make some money, and I'll be coming live to you Monday after the bell with a new video update. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.